Hello and welcome to Adventure Sean, where it's time for our first ever visit here to the Beamish Museum. Beamish! Hey, you don't really know what to expect, do you? I don't know what to expect. It's an outdoor museum here in the north and I'm really looking forward to it. Of course, it gets really good reviews, this place. I've wanted to come for quite a few years and a lot of you have commented on the vlog saying, oh, you've got to come to Beamish, you come and check it out. So we thought whilst we're up here in the Newcastle let's area, let's come and do it. Exactly. We've booked our tickets online, it's £19 each, but with that you do get an annual pass. Woo, you, <laughs> you can indeed and also at the moment you still got to book an entry time slot if you're arriving before 1 p.m we've got down here for 10 a.m so come and join us so we check out what beamish has to offer so it's free parking here at the beamish museum and yeah as you can see they're celebrating 50 years we can see there with the banner over on the wagon out here at the front and yeah it's busy this morning look at this Big key to get in, yeah, that's why you have to book the timed entry slots, else it'd be even more crazy. But yeah, here's a look at the main entrance, and yeah, I like how they're all dressed up down here as well, all in character, which is awesome. Yeah, you can bring your dogs as well by the looks of it as well. Here we go then, so we're inside the start of the museum now. Yeah, it only took about five minutes just to get sorted out with the queue there. Lots of desks open. And yeah, it gives you a bit of history in here as well. Lots of old things to see. Some nice clothes over there as well. Might try some of those on. <laughs> yeah, I do like how all the staff kind of wearing them older Victorian clothes. Really nice and just adds to the feel of it all. Lots of old signage over here as well. But yeah, we don't really know exactly where we're going because we've never been here before. But yeah, here's a look at a map and to be honest, seems like there's quite a lot to see here. Yeah, you've got the uh, 1900s town just up there. Got the trains that run round. All this area down here at the bottom as well. And the entrance building. Well, we are just over here. Yeah, lots to see. Oh, look at how cute this is. This is really cool. Nice bit of music down here as well. And yeah, we've got the tram stop just here. So yeah, you can get all the different trams around the site to explore it all. On this lovely day, sun shining. Yeah, look at this. Really nice. Let's like step him back in time. Well, we started off there with a nice tram ride here at Beamish, and I'll tell you what, the place is huge, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't realise it was going to be this big. Yeah, it's massive. So, yeah, you obviously you've got the trams that run round. We've just seen a couple of buses go past as well. And, yeah, we've got off at the first stop just here. Have a little look around the farm area first. And then you can jump on the transport all day and take you round, or you can walk between the different areas as well. So we'll start off down here in the farmyard. Got some nice music playing just in here. The Durham Mine Workers Association. Really is like stepping back in time coming here. Yeah, you got all the band just over here as well, all the trumpets and things in there. You gonna play us a song, Charlotte? Yeah, <laughs> is that that's all we get? <laughs> so we got some ponies just over here as well. Charlotte was like, I don't think they're real, but they are. They are yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're standing still over there, but yeah, it's very nice around here. Big horses over here as well. Look at him. Oh Whoa. my god, I'll tell you what, he's massive. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, blimey. You all right there? Just hanging in there. Oh. How are you? Hello. Nice big horsey. Hello. Oh, really nice. You're lovely, aren't you? Oh, you're lovely. <laughs> really nice. Like a nice big horse. Yeah, loads of buildings around here. That's the little band that we went in over there as well. Yeah, loads of different places to explore. It really is lots of different villages and towns kind of put together. Loads of different sections. Pitfield Street over here. Old 1891 schoolhouse just over here as well. Let's go and have a little look around this. Here we go then, right Charlotte, time for your lesson. You can take your seat now, please. Yeah. <laughs> here we are inside the school, how cool is this? Showing you exactly what it used to be like, all the wooden benches just here. That's it. <laughs> Thanks for turning up on time today, Charlotte. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, this is awesome in here. Really shows you what it used to be like. The old fire just over here as well, all the newspapers there, keeping you warm. It's got that authentic smell in here as well. Oh, that real old smell. That's the seagull. I think it might be Charlotte, to be honest. Sorry to tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a different world now. Yeah, this is really cool in here. Yeah, shows you what school life used to be like back in the day. 
All the little desks just say these are cute little ones, aren't they? <laughs> oh, Charlotte looks extra cute there on the tiny little chairs. <laughs> All the nice drawings, guys. You've done some good drawings there. Oh, the chickens just down here as well, and also the sheep. What are you laughing at? <laughs> I like how he walks as well. We've got the church just over here, so we're going to have a little look inside there now. All rise for the vicar. Thank you. I welcome you always coming inside there. Thank you. It's lovely in there. All the nice little benches. Music, choir in the background. A nice wonderful service there from Vicar Sandbrook. And yeah, here in the old colliery just here now. Have a look through the engine works. You can smell it as well. All this old machinery they've got just on display down here. Let's go have a look inside here. Pull the door. <laughs> oh, here we go, look at this. 1871. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's just the smell of it as well, which is amazing. All the years of working. It's really important that places like this exist, just to kind of show people what old life used to be, you know. Yeah, like keep the heritage and stuff. Yeah, definitely. If places like this didn't exist, you know, we wouldn't really have much of an idea on our past. It's really interesting just to come and see. Oh, I love all these like steam engines and that sort of thing. Yeah, look at that loco, beautiful. Back outside here then now, yeah, you got all these carriages just here, all the coal as well. This is really fascinating to see. Proper feel like I've got in a time machine this morning and then travelled way back in time just to be here. Walking over the train tracks here now. Yeah, it's amazing, very authentic. Fascinating to see this kind of thing, it really is. Yeah, I've always wanted to come and see what it's like and I can see why it gets great reviews now because we've hardly seen anything yet. It's a huge area to explore. Send the kids to what they're called bottom five quarter scene. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm loving this so far. You got your order on there? I have. Where are we going, Charlotte? We're going in the mine. Into the mines, a genuine mine that they've got here. Here we go. So, yeah, we've gone on a little tour. It's only about four and a half foot in some places in here. So, yeah, got to watch your heads. Oh, this is really cool. Yeah, let's look at some of the machinery. The pickaxes down there as well. And here you see some of the tracks just down here as well. Still in the floor. Ow. <laughs> the time wasn't a part of your shift. Well, in a pit like this one, you, know, you would be walking about two miles to get in. So if there was a long walk in by. Now the roadways like these would be high enough for pit ponies. But that was all. Yeah, the coal owner would never raise the roadways for men or lads. Oh, back out in the sunshine now after I tripped down the mines there. It was a bit scary, that was, I was a bit claustrophobic. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. Even We only went about 60 foot in, yeah, I think you said, did, yeah. uh, into the mine just there. But you know what? It shows you how tough it would have been to yeah, have worked in there. Yeah, it would have been there. really tough. Crazy, and when he turned the lights off in there as well. Scary. Uh, and just, you know, with the candle light. Yeah, I know. Crazy, like it shows you just how much hard work they used to do. Um, but yeah, full respect to them back in the day Definitely. doing that. I could not do it. I couldn't. Oh, no, I'd rather be out here in the sunshine. Yeah, and here's a look at some of the equipment that the miners would have wore when they're down there digging it all out. But yeah, really fascinating that was. Never done anything quite like that before. And yeah, so much to see here. Lots of information as well being explained. We made our way into the mine. Look at some of the miners' lamps just here as well. Still in the same area then now, and yeah, we've got some houses that we can go in. He's watering the plants just out there. He's got his ice pipe out. <laughs> we can go upstairs here as well. Here's a look then at how an old bedroom used to be. All the floorboards exposed just here. Got this little dresser with the mirror over here as well. And a nice bed, that looks quite comfy that does, doesn't it? It's not been made very well, has it? I know, well if you go to Blackpool, you can still stay in a room like this at some B&Bs. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite nice to be honest, compared to some of the Blackpool B&Bs we've stayed in over the years. 
house was free, your coal was free, yeah. you had an allotment virtually outside to grow your own food. So, um, so quite a reason. Oh, I love this. I like how they've got different people throughout, tiny parts of the story and history of the buildings. It's very nice. The other couple that are with us All come, right. come from the Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells nice in here. Yeah, there. <laughs> and dining room yeah, through here as well. There's the baby and the cot yeah, just down there. <laughs> oh, hello, it's my lovely neighbour, Charlotte. Hello, neighbor. How are you? Look at me plant. Why, hi, man. Yeah. <laughs> this is your first time coming up to Newcastle as well. I know it is. Yeah, there we go, first time up in Geordie Land. <laughs> This is lovely, I'm really enjoying this so far. And yeah, you've got lots of transport around as well. Look at this, a sort of two-storey omnibus just there. It's like being back at Disney, to be honest, on Main Street, USA. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing, you just jump on the transport, have a little ride about, so we thought we'd get on that two-storey omnibus. Don't know where it's going. <laughs> so a little ride around this section here, it's lovely. <laughs> you definitely want to try and time your visit here on a nice day. No, this is the way we're headed anyway, Charlotte. Yeah. That's good, it saves us walking up the hill. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine it would be as good fun if it was raining coming here to Beamish. But so far I'm really enjoying it. You've got the train tracks down there as well. Beautiful scenery, really nice part of the country. The last two nice little ride round just there. See how that loops around that section of Beamish. I'm really enjoying this so far. Here's a look at some more of the vehicles. And yeah, we reckon that they probably rotate these round depending on, on the day that you come, I'd imagine. I'm not yeah, too sure. So, yeah. yeah, it's like the proper bus depot just here. It's really important, like I say, that places like this are around to come and enjoy. And what we've paid, £19, I think it's actually really good value, especially the fact you can come back all year. Yeah, and if you've got a dog, you can bring it in and walk it round. Yeah, yeah. You just can't take it inside the buildings. Uh, but no, it's really good, and there's so much information about it all here. Oh, gobble, 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 gobble. Got some turkeys just over here. Here we go. I was in Turkey last week. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I think they like you, Charlotte. And so she has a Christmas dinner, don't like her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. Yeah, you've got the farmhouse just over here. Yeah, I think this has been recently rebuilt or just opened from what we were reading up at the entrance. Yeah, so we're going to take a little look inside here. Yeah, very nice. Here we go. We've got Charlotte's Circus Skills just here now. <laughs> That's it. There you go. <laughs> the radio on in here. Right, we're going to get the stove on, Charlotte, get some cooking going on. <laughs> Bit of case of raw. This reminds me of the dressing in France. Yeah. That's like the feel of it. Nice dressing table here in the old farmhouse. Cut your toenails there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's me, cut your toenails. Yeah, so you got some little toenail scissors. Nice view out to the front there as well. Yeah, the place is absolutely huge. You've got loads of sheep out there as well. Some more turkeys. Yeah, I love how you've got loads of people around giving you information and dressed up. I've noticed quite a few of the people that have actually come to visit here have dressed up as well in that time period, which is amazing. Oh, Getting into it. What we got? Oh, it's like we're back in Amsterdam. Oh, <laughs> oh you like clogs. Got a bit of sheep shearing going on just here as well. There you go. Not every day you get to see that. So we just left Spainsfield's farm just over there, which is very nice. And yeah, there's some big machinery just over here as well. Fascinating stuff to see. And yeah, we're walking just down here now, but bear in mind, you can get the buses around, you can get the transport. The tram line runs every 20 minutes in both directions, all the way around the whole site. But yeah, you have got the footpaths here if you want to have a nice little stroll as well. The scale of this place is absolutely crazy. So yeah, we're walking across the field just here, and now we've got some classic cars out to see down in this direction. And also, there's a little fun fair with a carousel and also a halter skelter there, along with a couple of smaller rides for the kids as well. Here we go, look at these classic cars just down here. These are nice. Wow, look at that. These are really cool. I don't know if the cars are here all the time or just certain times. I'd probably say just the busier days. Oh, a bit windy. Love a good vintage car, nice aren't they these? 
quite like the blue little truck here actually, that's really nice. Morris Cars, commercial and spares. <laughs> really fascinating to see, and then we got Arthur North and Sons Old Town Fairground just down here. She's lovely. Yeah, I don't think the rides are included in admission. I think you've got to pay extra for the rides if you did want to do them. But yeah, this is nice. Didn't realise they had some rides down here as well. Little carousel just there. Little swing boats. Little chair plane just over here as well. Very nice. Yeah, it's lovely. And the Helter Skelter and the carousel down there at the back. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic around here. Really nice. And the sun's come out for us as well, which is perfect. I tell you what, I'm really enjoying our first ever visit to the Beamish Museum. It's lovely, isn't it? Even better in the sunshine. It is, yeah. It's really interesting as well. We learned so much along the way. And just looking back at that old school world, exactly. really, you know, how it used to be back in the day for our parents and grandparents especially. Um, it's really nice. We've made it now to what's probably going to be the highlight, mm -hmm. and that is the town area. And this is so pretty around here, really picturesque. And we're walking on cobbles here as well. Yeah, look at how much character this has got just here. This is really nice. Get your ice cream just over there as well. In terms of prices for the rides back down there, by the way, ride tokens are two pounds. Yeah, it's two pound to go on the different rides. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, obviously you've got all the tram lines that run down the middle here as well. There's a train station off to the left, so we'll check that out shortly. And yeah, we're hoping that the fish and chip shops around here somewhere as well. Obviously we've never been, but we know there is a chippy somewhere. Well, we think there's two. One of them's closed, but the other one's open. Yeah. It reminds me of Coronation Street or something. Like we went behind the scenes there, you know, like... Yeah, yeah, I was just saying to Charlotte, I'm surprised they don't film like a soap or something here. Or even like a YouTube series or something like that, you know, like round here. It's beautiful. Got the bandstand just off to the right there. Tea rooms up there as well. Got a little market down here that's out. Yeah, this is fantastic. Really stepping back in time and seeing it all. And you can go in all these different shops and houses. Got the sun in just there. Yeah, you actually go in, which is cool. I wonder if you can have a pint. Yeah, you can. You can have a pint, there you go. Oh, we'll have a look in all of these. We're gonna get some food first, because we're a bit peckish. Hopefully the chippies round here. Sure it will be. Oh, there we go. Horses coming out. God, it really is like an old town that's come alive round here. Beautiful to see. This is amazing. So we just come round the corner here and we found Middleton's Quality Fish and Chips. Yeah, we've got quite a big queue just here, but you know what? We're waiting here because we need something to eat. We're hungry. <laughs> but yeah, see how long this takes. I'm starving. You ready for some food? <laughs> what are you going for? Some chips. Some nice chips, chippies. Yeah, oh, lovely. Let's see what they're like. Here's a look at the prices then. £10.50 for fish and chips. You can get dab and chips for £7. Me and Charlotte have never heard of that before, but it says just here, dab is a smaller portion of fish. We just want chips, the three fifty. So yeah, I'm gonna give the uh, dab and chips a go, I think. Well, it only took about 15 minutes, so not too bad there. And here's Charlotte with the chips. How are they? Really nice. Yeah, they're proper like homemade chips, aren't they, as well? Really old school. Oh. <laughs> Like you're enjoying that, and to be honest, good portion for 350 yeah, there. Well. well, the fish that they're putting in were absolutely huge, so I'm glad that I didn't go for the full fish and chips. So I went for the dab and chips just here. Never heard of that saying before, but yeah, I tell you what, for seven quid, and that's pretty decent to be honest. It looks absolutely delicious. So we're going to tuck in, and then we'll explore some of these buildings here in the old town that we've got. Yeah. 
Oh, well, I'll tell you what, dab and chips, I would definitely recommend. If you're coming to Beamish, you've got to have that. I wish I'd have had that. <laughs> I did give you a little bit of my dab. It was so nice. The fish was so white. <laughs> it was really good. Like, absolutely delicious. And £7 for that was great. That was basically like a mini fish exactly, at any other chip yeah. shop. Yeah, you know, I don't think you need the massive ones, no, to be you honest. No. That was perfect. Absolutely delicious. And yeah, we're going to have a walk around the town just here now and go in all the different shops and see who we meet along the way. So you've got the bakery just over here as well. Yeah, all the food outlets here get very popular. So that's what it's all about, isn't it? Trying some of the old school food. Yeah, got a little bakery just over here. Yeah, bread and cakes available. Just off to the right, Barclays Bank just over there. Yeah, should we go and have a little stroll over there? There's a little market out the front as well. So authentic. <laughs> You're right there, did you just fall down the step? Yeah. <laughs> Nice open top tram ride just there, Barclays Bank. Oh yeah, we've got another building just next to it here as well. Yeah, have a look in this one. <laughs> Here's a look inside, got all the portraits hanging up as well. Nice chandeliers. Really impressive. Yeah, I do love how you can just walk into all the different buildings and see what there is. Yeah, it's really cool. We've got the bank next door as well. Yeah, I think it's like some sort of courthouse, town hall, just here as well. Here's a look then inside the bank, just here. Oh wow, look at this. Little office just over here as well. This is cool. Barclay and Company Bankers. I had no idea Barclays was this old, to be honest. There you go, you learn something new every day, and that's the thing coming to places like this. Whoa, we need to get the police down here. Charlotte's trying to break into the vaults just here in Barclays. Look at this, you ever come downstairs? Fascinating to see. <laughs> there these big sealed doors just here. That's it, I'll lock you up in there, Charlotte. There we go. Oh, it's heavy that. Oh my God. That's yeah, crazy. <laughs> Can't even move it. I'm not strong enough. Here's a look at the little Beamish market stalls. Yeah, they've even got a Beamish Monopoly available down here as well. And lots of other merchandise available. What makes it so authentic is all the vehicles, all the staff dressed up, the characters you meet along the way. In fact, you can go in all the different shops. We're going into the sweet shop just here now. Jubilee Confectioners, just off here on the right hand side. Oh, look at this in here. You got all the jars over there at the back. All these out here as well. Yeah, we've got some aniseed balls coming out. Here's Charlotte then with the Annecy Balls, £2.50 for four ounces just there. Quite refreshing actually. Yeah, not too bad, you got a pretty good, uh, pretty good bag full for £2.50, yeah, that's alright. Just in the photography shop just here now as well. This is where I'd be working, back in the olden days, no vlogging. Just here in the old photography shop, that's what I'd be vlogging on, that beast. You're in the chemist just here now. And some old Vaseline just there, some shampoo powder. £7.50 for that big soap. Oh, there you go. We only have what we have in it really is heaving here. You've got to think though, everybody gets an annual pass. So if you're local, there'll be a lot of people come back and just make the most of that, nip in for a couple of hours. Yeah, it's definitely a full day out here to get around and see everything. All the nice signage here as well. Motor car just over here as well. Look at that in there, they're beautiful. Some bikes just here as well. Here we are in the garage. Thank you.
Next door now in the grocery shop, got some nice biscuits just here. Get your digestives, I think I could eat all those just there. Oh, nice biscuits up there. Oh, my faves they are, my faves. Look at this, fries, chocolate over here as well. I like all the old, old packages and kind of tins for things as well. Yeah, look at this. Some nice fruit down here as well. Some apples. Got some meat in here as well. Well, this tram has just pulled in, so we thought we'll go for a little lap round on here. Because, like I say, you can sit on the trams and do a full loop round. And we sit on the roof just here as well whilst the sun's out. So, we'll have a loop round on this and come back round here to the town. Have a look round some more of the shops. Lovely view down the street just here. Charlotte enjoying the sunshine. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice here. Fantastic. It really is. Yeah, obviously, with the trams, when they turn the other way, they can just push these forwards. <laughs> And yeah, obviously the seat faces that way then, which is pretty cool. Obviously we're going that way, so they put them in this position. Hey, and all them cars that we saw parked up earlier are all driving down here now. Look at this, a little bit of a car parade. Really makes it come alive with all the vehicles. See? <laughs> oh, this is well cool. Oh, and that's it, off we go. Watch yourself down there. <laughs> this is awesome. Yes, yeah, like I said, we're gonna come back down here. We'll just do a full loop round. We'll come have a look round because there's a little pub up here, some more houses to look in. Are we gonna get any waves, anyone? Hey, we got a wave. <laughs> Woo! It's so busy here, it's crazy. <laughs> hey, can we get away from inside? Well, they got a dog in the back of that one. Yeah, it looks like they're doing some building work over here as well. Oh, yeah, it's even bigger. Yeah, it looks like they're building some new houses over there. Just over down there at the back. Yeah, something to come back for in the future. If it opens this year, I may have to come back with my annual pass. They look like new sort of Yeah, I think some, I overheard somebody say maybe like 1950s houses they're building. I suppose you've got to think, because 50 years from now, things are going to be different, aren't they? So it's for people to look back on, on everything, you know. Yeah, just another one of the stops just here now. That's the good thing, there's loads of stops where you can just get off, walk a little bit, change vehicle. Really nice. Very well thought out. It's made it having all the cars here today as well. Hey, cars have caught up us again just here now. Hey, hello. <laughs> Love it, I think they just kind of go around every so often, yeah, and do a little tour around, which is cool. So everybody gets to see the cars, which is really nice. Now, obviously, this is the area we walked around earlier with the farm just over there. Lovely. What really adds to it is all the movement. You know, there's just so much going on, lots to see. <laughs> Hi, 
And here we go, arriving back now at the town just here. Really nice little trip round that. It takes probably about 20 minutes or so with a few stops along the way. Go and do your tour round. Enjoy that. Yeah, especially in the sunshine. How lovely that was. Yeah, and seeing all the cars as well. Perfect timing that was. Got the Beamish branch office just here then, after a lovely ride round there on the trams. Fantastic, they've got quite a few different trams. Open top, of course the ones where you can sit inside only as well. And then a mix of both, bit of a hybrid if you like. Yeah, really nice. I can't believe how busy it is here. Very popular. And where are we heading to now, Charlotte? The stables. The stables just down here. And see the horses. Well, this is where the horses normally would be. They must be out somewhere else here at Beamish Museum because, yeah, they do, of course, make the way around here for everybody to see. Yeah, lovely vehicles just over here as well. All the different trailers, all the carts. It's quite a nice one with the yellow wheels just there. Charlotte's favourite colour, that. It is. Yellow. <laughs> Then we've got the pub round here just next door as well, so have a little mooch in there. There's a look inside the pub just here. All the stuffed animals up there as well. There's a dog over there. <laughs> Love this green area here, the nice park. And yeah, you can bring food if you want to, but obviously there's lots available here, including the tea rooms just here at the top. So yeah, I'll just show you the tea rooms here now. Maybe get a cake or something in here, depending on what they've got. A scone, possibly. Is it a scone or a scone? It's a scone. It's a scone, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is lovely. It's really exceeded all my expectations. I can see why it gets amazing reviews here now. Oh, it's sounding good. When Charlotte makes that noise, you know, she's getting excited. But <laughs> take that whatever way you want. But yeah, let's get a look inside the tea rooms. Oh. Here's a look then inside the tea rooms. Yeah, you got loads of different food options in here. So this is the main place for eating, really, if you are coming here. And what a nice sit down meal. But obviously I quite enjoyed my uh, fish and chips to be honest. I thought that was lovely to sit outside, eating it in the lovely weather. But yeah, just thought I'd show you the tea rooms here. Nice undercover seating area as well. So we've also got a few houses to go in here as well in the town. So yeah, we're gonna have a little stroll around here. Just go through someone's gate that's open. <laughs> have a little walk around. But yeah, I'm absolutely loving it here at Beamish. I will definitely try and make a return visit during 12 months of my pass. Look at all this in here. So much furniture. Yeah, it must take some dust in all this. Blimey. Nice big four poster bed upstairs in this one just here. It's nice, isn't it? Um, but yeah, it, was, it came from Kansas with American troops in 1917. Spread the English and French troops. Captured by the, the dentist just here. Lines. And then the second phase was when the war ended. Everybody was sent home. <laughs> oh, I thought we were going to have to get a nice ice cream here. Beamish. It even says Beamish up there on the wafer. There we go, £2.50. Oh, she's loving that. So get your lips around that. Get your tongue on it. <laughs> that was Beamish ice cream. Yeah, £2.50 for a single scoop. And uh, yeah, it's quite nice. You get the little wafer on top. Lovely that. You've gone for a, what is it, bubblegum one? Raspberry. Blue raspberry. Blue raspberry. And I've gone for a nice strawberries and cream in the lovely sunshine. Oh, this is absolutely delicious, especially the nice wafer. Lovely. Yeah, you've got the train station just down here now. It's going to take a little stroll around. Oh my God. You're right there, Charlotte. I think someone's enjoying that. You've got blue lips now as well. Here's a look then inside the signal box just here. Got the signals just down here. There you go. 
this old train station down here. Quite interesting to see. Tell you what, the ice cream was absolutely delicious as well. Really nice. Just in the station area now. Got the waiting room here. This big map of the network up here as well. The North Eastern Railway. Little ticket booth just over here as well. There we go. Charlotte's on the tickets today. <laughs> Single to York, please. <laughs> there you go. Fascinating stuff. Yeah, carry on down the platform just here. Yeah, you can see all the tracks still in place down here as well. I'm not too sure if it's actually an operational line a little bit further down in that direction. Obviously, no trains come down here, but yeah, quite interesting. Back up over the tracks then here now, over the other bridge. And yeah, get a nice view down towards the station there. All these carriages and also off to the right here, the ironworks that we can see just there as well. It's a little rickety bridge, this one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, maybe they do run trains down here sometimes, I'm not too sure. It said that this station doesn't function today, but it doesn't mean it doesn't on other days, I'm not too sure with that one. Maybe it's part of a heritage line further down or around the area. A couple of the different engines in here as well that we can see. Steam engine just off to the right. And just here on the left as well. Yeah, really interesting seeing all this sort of machinery. And there's lots of that on display here throughout the different sections at Beamish. A nice look there down at the railway station. Anyway, we've seen everything now around here in the town area. So what we're going to do is jump back on the tram. And yeah, we think we've got one more area to see. Um, there is a part of it that's closed at the moment due to some storm damage. Um, the other little farm area, so that's closed. But well, I'm sure we'll come back at some point in the future and come and see that. But I've really enjoyed it here at Beamish Museum today. I'd heard it was really good and it certainly hasn't disappointed. Really authentic experience. I feel like we stepped back in time today. Lovely. <laughs> right, we just got off the tram at the next stop then, and yeah, we're having a little look around this big manor house just here now. She's nice. There was a sign outside advertising a large pig, so I'm not too sure if he's up here or not. We'll see. Do you want to see a large pig, Charlotte? Yeah, <laughs> too sure. This is pretty. Nice gardens just here with a lovely view out there to the forest. Yeah, that's gorgeous. What have we got inside? The smell. This is old. No, it's oh, it's the smoke. Yeah, yeah, it's the thing. We're not used to it, are we, in this day and age? Unless you've got a log burner. Here we go then, viewers, dinner time. <laughs> You've been out hunting, Charlotte. What you got for us there? A couple of pheasants, we've got a duck just over there. There we go. <laughs> the cat, the turkey. Oh, is that turkey out on the Christmas dinner? Cat. Yeah, this is a cat. Was it a rabbit? A rabbit. <laughs> I thought it was a cat at first. Let's have a look. Meow. Oh. <laughs> Fancy a nice bath, Charlotte? Oh, I wouldn't fit in there. There you go, get yourself in the tub, quite literally. I reckon that's where the phrase comes from. Get in the tub, she's so taking a coat off, ready? Oh. Yeah, ready to go into the tub. Oh, well, that's a bit freaky on the bed, look at that. Oh my god, yeah, I bet this is proper haunted, this place. Here he is then, the highlight of our visit, the large pig just here, there he is. Chilling out, <laughs> enjoying the sunshine. Oh no, he's not. Oh, maybe he doesn't like the camera. Not too sure, large pig. Loved seeing the large pig just there as well. It's the fact that they advertise him as the large pig, not just a pig. <laughs> we are down here as well, you've got this nice little chapel. As we come towards the end of our experience here at Beamish, it's been a really nice day. Loved having an explore around and seeing it all for the first time. <laughs> Love thatch buildings, and yeah, you've got a nice little thatch cottage just here as well. Yeah, that's really nice. Need to restore in that one. Here we go then. So just come around the corner and they have actually got a working train just here, a locomotive. There's the engine down there at the front. Just these small little carriages on the back as well. I'm not too sure where it goes. Maybe just a quick little trip around here. I'm not too sure. Yeah, how nice is that? It smells really cool. 
They're authentic. All the coal around here as well. That's really cool, that is. Wasn't expecting to come around the corner and see that. We stood in the front. We saw him open the corner and see each other in the corner. Yeah, but no puffing. So that was Puffin Billy that you saw just that's running Thursday through till Sunday at the moment. We had imagine that's subject to change. Yeah, you got one of the engine sheds just here as well, which is really interesting to see. Well, yeah, we would have had a ride there on Puffin Billy, but the queue was pretty big, and yeah, not really many coaches running on there. But yeah, we'll definitely come back at some point in the future. We're making our way now down into Newcastle to so the Hoppins Fair. So yeah, that'll be coming up over on Theme Park Worldwide. So yeah, stay tuned for that over on our other channel. But yeah, I'm sure we'll be back here at some point in the future. Back at the top then of the village now. And yeah, it's worth pointing out they do a variety of different events here at Beamish. As you can see, you've got the Great North Steam Fair, the Georgian Fair, Agricultural Power from the Past, the Show of Agriculture, and down here they do Halloween, and also Christmas as well. And yeah, it's the good thing with you getting an annual pass when you come here, you come back and enjoy the events. I'd be interested to see Christmas. This looks lovely with all the decorations there on the trams. And yeah, Halloween, but that's quite fun as well. I wonder how spooky it is, or if it's more of a family Halloween. But I said to Charlotte throughout the day, it could have a lot of potential here for events. And yeah, they already do some. Oh, they've got some great fridge magnets in the shop. Got the fries just there, my nice fish and chips. Large pig. Large pig, I love how it's advertised a large pig. Fantastic. Yeah, great gift shop, get all your beers over here as well, some wines. Beamish Tramway, they're cool. The Sun Inn, of course the pub that they've got down there in the town. There's yeah, some really nice bits in here, that's quite nice for the arts. Candy coal. <laughs> yeah, it's a huge gift shop with loads of merch. Well, there we go. That brings us to the end of our visits here to Beamish. It's been really good fun, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, really enjoyed it. We've been here close to five hours and we've seen pretty much everything. You could easily spend the full day here. Yeah, you could. Uh, like I say, we're heading down to the hop in, so we haven't got the time to spend here right until the end, but you really could do. There is so much to see. So much. Really enjoyed it. My highlights have been, I really enjoyed this, the town area, going around on the tramway. Yeah. Along with that, the mine, that was really good fun. Oh, it was a bit claustrophobic for me. I enjoyed that. Lots of different experiences. And of course, the awesome fish and chips, they were absolutely oh, amazing. So nice. My ice cream was good as well. And yeah, the food and drink is quite expensive here. I still didn't think £7 was too bad for the fish and I chips. I don't though. think so. Um, but you know, 10 50 for fish and chips, the large one, it is a lot. But yeah, you did get a is. massive portion yeah, you did. Uh, as well. But yeah, you can walk around all the different houses, the shops, the schools, churches. There is so much to see here, there really is. It's a full action packed day out. And the fact that, you know, for £19, you're getting so much, in my opinion. It really is a good action packed full day. Definitely. Yeah, we didn't know if we was going to be here two hours or a full sure. day and it really is a full day experience here and I'm sure we'll be back at some point in the future. Long way from home, it's about a three hour drive so uh, yeah, that's why we've not been up until this point and combining it in with other things was perfect. Exactly. Yeah, definitely really enjoyed it. But of course, stay tuned for more content here on Adventure Sean. Going to be checking out a few of the similar attractions to this because by us, we've got a couple of unique uh, kind of places like take you back in time, you know. And that's what this has been about today, stepping back in time and, um, you know, remembering what it would have been like really. It's been really nice. It's like our grandparents, you know, and how they used to live. Exactly. Um, so yeah, there's going to be more of this kind of content coming up here on the channel. So stay tuned for that. And I tell you what, the chippy here was a lot better than Binley Maggie Chippy. Oh, it was, yeah. It was much better wasn't it <laughs> but so there we go that leaves me with one final thing to say get out there have your own adventures see you all in the next video